going to see an analysis within Aiki Jujutsu, especially Kansetsu no Geko. Now, the term that actually gives uh, meaning to the Kansetsu no Geko is to exhaust the strength, to exhaust the energy before changing any angle or before any kind of application or technique that you're going to do. So the first thing is to define if we're going to let the uke or the opponent to complete his technique or we, if we're going to interrupt the technique and interrupt the, the strength before it gets to the end. So, uh, for example, let's analyze this and with a Yoko, Yoko Menuchi. The first option is to interrupt the strength, so I'm going to actually interrupt his movement and I'm going to get his strength to the end, to exhaust it before any kind of technique. In this case, we are going to interrupt the technique before it comes against us and we are bringing it down. And the other option is to actually let his technique to complete. But to exhaust the energy. So, for example, let's analyze the changing of angle and also the same uh, practical use of this in other sequences following the first technique you apply. So, I'm going to interrupt it and from here, for example, I'm going to change the direction and bring him down. Now, this is a very common technique and the first thing that I need to analyze is that the uke may carry a tanto or a secondary weapon that can use against me and then, in this case, I can be vulnerable to any kind of attack. So let's study how to exhaust the energy that is called Murioko, move from emptiness and Ryoko from strength, from force, it comes from also the idea of energy, in this, this angle that he has his arm. The first thing is to avoid the use, he can use the other weapon, I need to exhaust energy on that angle also. So my hand that is here is going to support his arm on my leg and I'm going to do a small movement with my right leg while my left hand brings the joint in the opposite way. In this case, by doing this, he won't be able to use his other hand. Now, once I have hit control, then I can apply any other technique, changing the angle. So let's analyze, for example, if I do a Kotemo wash, where I'm going to change my hand, and I also need to exhaust the energy that he has. So again, Nike like Jujutsu from Moscow, I need to put his fingers towards the direction that I'm going. The other way, I'm going to press and torque the structure. So I'm going to exhaust also the fiber, the fibers, the muscle fibers, or the joint, or his any anatomical structure that can try to uh, create an obstacle to my technique. Another example, please. For example, let's analyze the same concept with the Kote Hineri. So in this case, I'm going to use my Hara, my shoulders to be kept down, and also with my elbow. So the movement Hineri is to torque, just like a tornado that we're going to use on his joint. So my hand comes here, my other hand comes here, and that's the torque movement. But we need to be careful in this technique because if I do it and if I turn my heart at the same time, he will be able to move with me. And he, by doing this, will get the pressure controlled here. So it will be lighter. And that's the thing that we cannot allow. So in the same case, I'm going to contract my heart, I'm going to torque it, and this comes first then my movement. Then I start moving and once I get there then I'm also bringing the movement down. In this case he won't be able to harmonize with me. So also we can see the same logical practical 
concept on the Yamao Rosh or Yamao Dosh. And in this case, imagine that I am already here. And if I need to exhaust the energy, the, the first thing that may feel this will be his hara and also his center of balance that will be affected. So by doing this, I exhaust the movement and I bring the lateral. So the consequence will be his unbalance. And by this, as in Aiki Jujutsu, we use the ground as a weapon. We have also to analyze how to exhaust the energy and project him uh, in a war period with his head against the ground. So by to do that, I have two options also. I can, by surprise and with violence, project him to the ground. And then you see that I exhaust the energy and make him get to the imbalance maximum point. And then I bring him down so the head will go against the ground. Or by the same example that we've talked about, interrupting the energy or let the energy complete, we can go diagonal. So if I go diagonal, also I'm going to force him to be protected with his head. So that, that we saw, there are a few examples of the Kansetsu no Geko within the Aikijujutsu.